Me 28 and my partner, she's 32 have been together for 8 years and engaged for 10 months with our wedding plan for this fall. We have always had a loving and supportive relationship and I view her child from a previous relationship as my own. She was with her old partner for almost a decade and she ended things because he was a serial cheater. So I never would have imagined that she would cheat towards me. We did not get engaged sooner because of financial reasons and she needed to live with her sister and her kids to support them. Her sister now has the funds to pay her own way so she can leave with her kid. It was hard to imagine getting married while living in different homes. So we agreed to wait. We just put in a bid for a home Friday morning. My fiancé was always a bit on the bigger side for the majority of our relationship. But we worked together to get her to a manageable weight after having a weight loss procedure. After her 55 kilograms weight loss, she decided to get a mommy makeover subtle breast implants. And a BBL which I was reluctant about, but I want her to feel comfortable in her body. She completed these procedures and recovery in early 2019. And for the first time in her life, she was getting lots of attention from guys. I loved her new confidence in herself and it translated well into our relationship. But over time, she began to change. She would go out dancing every single weekend until 4 a.m. and never invited me, which I did not mind the going out part since I was never much a dancer. But it sucked because we both worked 9 to 5 Monday through Friday jobs. So we're both free on weekends. I wanted to join in for this new lifestyle of hers. So I began taking very expensive dance classes, salsa so that I could be invited. Nope, she still didn't feel comfortable even though the friends she went, went with knew me as well. She invited me out to dance sometimes but never with her usual group and we did other weekend things all appeared to be better after I communicated my my needs or so I thought last April, she said that she was going to a concert for an artist that she likes at a local club and was going with some friends. I did not care since I did not know this artist. So I did not expect an invitation because the tickets were expensive. I went to sleep around 1 a.m. and text her good night like I usually do. And she responds saying that they're heading home as well. At some point around 3, a ma friend calls and then texts me asking if me and her were still together. I asked him why. And he said because he's friends with her sister on Snapchat and saw a video with my fiancé grinding up on a guy while he has one hand on her ass and the other down her shirt gripping her breast. Then a video afterwards that appeared to show them going in for a kiss. But the video panned away. He recorded proof of this and sent it to me. I watched it and was shattered. I expected her to dance with men in clubs but not like that. I waited until the morning to confront her but she denied it by 7 a.m. both videos were deleted from her sister's page and she blocked my friend who recorded the videos. She then stated that he was a gay friend of a friend of hers that went out also. And after she wore me down, I began to believe her. She said they were both drunk and he gets a bit aggressive but he's gay. I was still pissed but forgave her. I told her never to do that again. She said that she was not that close with him and won't see him again. My dumbass proposed a month later at a family dinner. Fast forward to two days ago. A different friend of mine texted me asking if we broke it off and I asked why he said that he saw her huddled with a guy getting dinner at a pool hall and snapped a picture to verify it was her. Yep. And the dude that she was with was that gay friend that she claimed to barely know from last April. I then got curious. So I stupidly created a fake Snapchat with a different name so that I could subscribe to her sister's Snapchat. And from there I saw these old spotlight snaps that had him in it at various points. Over the last three years, she lied to me.
She tagged him in a post. So I looked up his username that brought me to his Facebook page that had the same name. The dude is married with like six kids and his wife has no idea. I created another stupid discreet account and messaged him asking how he knew my partner. I told him that I tell his wife everything. So he spilled the beans. He met her at a club and they've been dating on the side for three years. She never told him that I existed at all. But he was curious because there was some video that I was in and she said that I was her cousin. He had a feeling that something was going on because she was trying to break things off with him, which is likely because she did not want to bring that affair into our life when we moved in together and got married. I know I'm a childish asshole for creating a fake account, but I was hurt and desperate. So I'm going to leave this girl tomorrow. The only woman that I've ever truly loved was gaslighting me and betrayed me. I just wanted her to be honest, but she won't, I won't give her that chance. Now I feel so angry that I want to publicly break up with her. Build everything in front of her family. Those aware of her cheating and those who have no idea. But I can't bring myself to do that. It's just not me and I love her kid like my own, my world will be shattered when this happens. I am not really seeking advice. I just wanted to get this out and vent since I have not spoken to my friends about this. Has anyone else experienced something so crazy? How did you heal your heart? Update. The deed has been done. I told her about everything and she still denied it. Even with me showing her proof, I then told her that the guy she was cheating on me with was married and this is when she started to cry. It seems like she cared more about him than she did about me. I do not know how I'm going to cope moving forward since I just feel overwhelmed with sadness. I hope that it's a pain that ends soon. But I expect to be in misery for a long time. Thanks to everyone who reached out, in my opinion, I think was lucky because he got proof his fiancé was cheating. I am not sure if he would have found out otherwise. But what's crazy is she still denied it even when he had proof. Now him making fake Snapchat accounts for me. It was a waste of time. He had what he needed. Actually, this was good for him. Why? Well, he won't have to marry her. She won't take any alimony or child support from him and she's already proven she's not long-term material. Second, I have suspicions about her first relationship about her last partner being a serial cheater and her ending their relationship. Do you guys think past behavior is a prediction of future behavior in this story for her at least? And yes, I thought he was a dumbass for proposing to her after someone put him on high alert. Remember? 